people this is your weekly reading for august 26th through september 1st and we're going to start with your astrology as you can see here so first we're going to start with uh sunday um and the only reason why i'm starting with sunday is because a couple of these move throughout the week so we have your son in virgo beautiful happy birthday virgos i hope you're awesome and i hope your birthday is amazing and this is all about Virgos have that energy of being analytical and um, analyzing a situation and figuring out what they can do to make things better not only are you doing that for yourself but you're doing that for those around you as well how you can be helpful so this energy is not only with Virgos but with all of us we are uh, seeing how other people fit into our lives and what we can do to almost make them better okay so oh excuse me so next we have Uranus retrograde throughout this whole week okay this is about financial freedom okay so we're doing things like getting new jobs starting new projects working hard to to make things happen for ourselves that's what that that's what uranus and retrograde brings to us okay next we have the full moon in pisces the full moon in pisces is this is all that do for others energy okay and that's that's moving you forward okay the little bit that you do anything that you do not only for yourself towards your own projects or for other people are going to is going to go a long way okay so i feel like from now until the next new moon that is what's going to be happening like you're you're going to be doing a little bit for people and a little bit for yourself to almost better your situation and theirs but by helping others you also better your situation as well okay then on tuesday the 28th we have mars going direct after being retrograde for what felt like forever so you were trying like mm, i would say last week last couple of weeks you're trying new things trying to overcome your social issues okay and just almost pushing yourself outward a little bit more so now with mars going direct you're taking more control of yourself whether that be finances relationships with other people you're taking more control and making things happen like i said it's all about you doing a little bit to help others as well and you're taking control of your life by seeing that sometimes you have to get other people involved you know as well to help you out okay um also what else Just try, just do a little bit. Don't go overboard is what I'm hearing. Start doing things one step at a time. Little things can equal big things, okay? So retrogrades, we have Saturn, Pluto, Uranus, North Node, Neptune, and Chiron. All the same things that we're still in retrograde um and that's because we're working on ourselves and you can definitely feel that you're working on yourself you're clearing out people that don't um i don't want to say don't matter to you but you don't need energy you don't need in your life bad habits fears um cleaning up your home making things better for yourself this is what you're working on because remember you're still on that new life plan okay so we're gonna see what spirit has for all of us generally in the collective for this week with these energies we have the waiting game which is the two of wands the ace of cups and the heart chakra so this could be for a lot of people love coming into your life okay this could also be just things opening up for you you have been taking steps towards something whether this be with career because this is the wands so it's about you growing different things in your life different things that make you happy or things that you feel will fulfill you in a way so you're opening up new gates for yourself and you're opening up new opportunities, whether this be a project that you're doing and now you're making strides forward and you're realizing your goals, okay? And all this is going to help you heal. It's going to help you achieve your goals. It's going to help you be in more harmony with yourself. Also, it could be with you being more compassionate with others as well as yourself, okay? So here's your weekly reading. Hello, 
Geminis, this is your weekly reading for August 26th through September 1st. I hope you're doing wonderful, beautiful souls. I apologize about the noise, that's my air conditioner. Um, re please remember that if you need a private reading, I am still doing those. Those links are, that link, excuse me, is in the description box below. Um, also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And we're going to get into your energies for August 26th through September 1st, Gemini. Let's see what we have for you or what spirit has for you. I'm just a vessel. I shouldn't say we. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry. The King of Wands in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Justice. Knight of Cups. And the devil in reverse, six of cups in reverse, and the moon in upright. Okay, Gemini. You may be a little anxious, okay? You may have a little bit of fear, or you may think that there are some secrets, okay? Um, this may be within yourself. The moon energy does talk about things within you. Um, being a little bit confused, reflecting on certain situations and trying to figure out the best way to go. The Six of Cups tells me it's about you reliving something in the past. Uh, maybe you're clinging to something or maybe you're in a childish fight this week with your significant other or with someone. Okay, and you're reflecting on what is the best decision to make, if you're right, if they're right. Um, I feel like you're doing that thing that you do. What I mean is you're um, analyzing a situation um, to figure out what's the best way to go. You're very smart in your actions, and that's what you're doing. Okay, um, I do feel like, which is weird is um, you may be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who doesn't seem like they are on the up and up or they don't know what direction to go in or that may be you. And all you know is that you want balance and you want fairness within a situation. You may also be dealing with a Libra, okay? I don't feel like this week you are going to jump into any decisions because if you do, there is definitely a fear of you making a wrong decision, okay? Because you're so passionate and emotional about what it is that you believe in that you're going to go towards that okay um and you're going to think that you're being friendly but it's going to be perceived as something else okay um but all you know is that you want balance and you want fairness within a situation okay you may be getting an offer from a, a cancer scorpio or pisces i do feel like you're not going to take it i feel like you're going to let it go I don't feel like this is a person that you think is going to work with you. There could have been issues in the past, and that's why this confusion is coming up, because you've had this, this problem in the past. Things are not working. If you're in partnerships at work in an issue or a situation or a project that's not moving forward, you're going to stop working with them, okay? I feel like you think that they're toxic, even though that they... It's interesting because it seems like they're trying to be nice to you, but you feel like they're toxic for this situation and it's not going to work out, okay? So I feel like you're detaching from things that is not going to work with you, even though you want to be fair, okay? And even though there is this, this energy of someone coming in for a peace offering, I don't think that you're going to accept it, okay? Because that's the wrong move for you to make. You have the five of pentacles in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. You're figuring out how to move on from something, okay? Um, there's a loss here um, when it comes to something feeling solid, okay? Um, you don't feel comfortable about how things are going. Maybe someone left you behind or um, they didn't put in the effort in a situation where they should have put in the effort and you're figuring out a way to move on from it, okay? You want balance though. You don't want to lose any, um, for some of you, you don't want to lose any custody, -ish, uh, custody situations. You don't want to lose any comfortability within your life the way it is now, even though you want to cut this off. But I feel like you want like a clean cut off, okay? Now, you're looking 
looking towards the future for this week, you're going to have a lot of things going on, especially with the Ten of Wands being in reverse, okay? There's a lot of things going on in your life. Um, if you're still working on that project, that is something you got, you're going to need to do. If you cut off this partnership, you're going to have to do it on your own, okay? Just know that there is something that needs to be let go, and that's with the Devil card, the Devil card okay it's talking about releasing releasing this idea of um this offer if you want to give an offer i wouldn't give the offer i just feel like it's going to be a problem i really really do okay so i see you working on your own gemini i see you dealing with things on your own okay you want a sort of stability that right now you feel like you are the only one that can give that to you and that this other person or this other situation cannot give this to you in the same way that you can give it to yourself you need this balance in your life and you're going to have to do it. And that's just what I see here. Okay. So this confusion, this, uh, these changes that you're going to make, it's very interesting because I feel like with all of this contemplation that you're going through, you know what you should do. And you know that moving forward will be childish. And you know that there's something in your life that is not supposed to be there. Like it's creating havoc or creating uh, unnecessary rivalry i guess you can say in your life and 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 you're going to handle that the best way that you know how okay so they just told me you know what you have to do so that's what i'm going to title this video because they just said that to me regret i know that i cannot change the past Mm. the past of the past Gemini okay you may have been trying to work something out by staying in it even though it didn't have direction and you may be saying to yourself I should have known better but just because you had that brief moment of uncertainty you decided to see if, if something was there okay um, maybe for the children okay um but i feel like this person is childish or this person just isn't on the same wavelength as you and you're coming to grips with that um, it's not working and you're choosing to let it go because you need more stability in your life and you need to be a parent or you need to nurture your future um the best in the best way possible okay and just know that you can't change the past the only thing you can do is to move forward okay so thank you so much for listening and i love you very much love and light bye bye